Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Where today guys, I'll be showing you how to create multiple phantom wallets. So basically guys, what you need to do is first of all, go to your uh, app store and download the phantom wallet application. If you do not know how to do that, we have a video on our YouTube channel uh, where we explain how you can do that. And then you just need to connect your wallet. If you're having problems with that also, you can go to our YouTube channel again and check out a video about that also. Now guys, let's see what we actually have in front of us here. So as you can see here, we have the application where we have, we can receive, buy and send money. We, uh, and we have our tokens, we can manage the token list here. Also, here we have your collectibles where you can go and search for them. But at the moment, I don't have any. That's why this is empty for me. But be sure when you have some, they will appear, of course, here. Here you can swap your tokens. So we have the, the button to do that here. We also have recent activity, no activity at the moment for me, but guys, be sure when you have some activity, again, I'll be saying that uh, it will appear here. Here we have your search or type a URL option where you can go and type that in the search bar. Uh, bar. And also we have sites, tokens, quests, and the learn option. Now, also in the top left corner, we have the account where we have everything about your account. So you can manage your accounts, preferences, security and privacy, active networks, address book, connected apps, developer settings, help and support, and about Phantom. But now guys, let's see how to create multiple Phantom wallets. Well, it is pretty simple. After installation, Phantom will open in a new tab in your browser. Now all you want to click on is create new wallet button. It will ask you to create a secure password. This uh, password is used to unlock the wallet app on the browser and device. Now when you want to create another one, you just need to go and basically uh, repeat the process again. So guys, that is everything for this video. I hope that you found it informative. If you did, don't forget to like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel, put the notifications on. And guys, as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye guys.